All right, guys. We're back here at Bayman Sunk Garage. We got done delivering that part for Mr. Wilson. In the driveway, you can see the Grand Prix got a tire sitting on the deck lid. Yeah. Got to put that tire on there today. But that's not what we're doing. What we're doing is, what we just got done doing, should I say, was we just got done fixing our quad. Our racing quad's up and going again. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> I love it. I'm so happy. And you guys are going to have a drinking game on this video. Every time you hear, I love it, take yourself a drink. I love it. Got this quad going. And uh, our craftsman, um, last time we tried to fire it up, the uh, carburetor flooded and it hydro locked. So we took the carburetor off. We took the uh, spark plug out. We you know, unfreed it, unstuck it, got all the fuel out of the cylinder and unlocked it. And my son took the carburetor off today and rebuilt it. And that turned out really well. And he completely disassembled that carburetor and took it all apart inside, cleaned it all up, reassembled it, put it on. It's got a little 12 volt uh, fuel pump. And it has to have that because this mower was set up with a vacuum fuel pump. When we installed the engine on it, it came off an engine that had a gravity feed. So the vacuum fuel pump wouldn't work on this engine because it was no, you know, wasn't compatible. So I just bought a little 12 volt lawnmower, uh, you know, 12 volt uh, fuel pump, clickety clack, and boom, we got it, right? So we was gonna fire this thing up, we put a battery in it, and the battery died. I gotta go to Walmart and get another, or not Walmart, gotta go to my friends over there at AutoZone and get another battery <coughs> and swap that out. But so we put a jump box on it. We're gonna start this thing. I drained fuel out of the carburetor, or excuse me, out of the tank. I put fresh fuel in it back there, got it up to the pump, fresh fuel coming out of the pump. Ready to fire it up, right? And the uh, battery died. So we put a jump box on it. And our jump box blew the starter apart. So you can see where the starter was. Not there anymore. And here's what happened to it. The gear exploded on us. And there's pieces of teeth right there. And there's two pieces of teeth right there that just exploded. Thank God it didn't hit my son in the eye or the face or something or hit me. But, you know, I'm worried about my son because I don't give a shit about myself. But thank God it didn't, uh, you know, it hit my boy's head in the pants leg. But it didn't hurt him, so. Got lucky. We dodged the bullet on that. So now we got the starter off. We got it in the house. We're going to take the gear off another starter. We got a couple of used starters. We're going to swap the gear out and put the starter back on. We're going to buy it. A new battery we're going to go to walmart or walmart we're going to go to our buddies at autozone and we're going to get one of their uh, batteries over there uh, and we're going to swap that out then we'll put the starter on so you know finally you know the joe rumping uh lawnmower engine uh should be back up and operational so that's it for that then our quad our 97 yamaha uh 200 cc blaster uh, that the engine been completely rebuilt on it. Over the winter, um, the clutch stuck in it for some reason. So you start it up, put it in gear, and as soon as you put it in gear, it wouldn't uh, disengage. So you had the clutch, you know, pulled in, and the bike would just take off on you. So I was bummed out about that. Then it wouldn't start anymore, and winter set in, and that's where it sat over there, you know, in front of the, the building over there, in front of the little, you know, uh, carport building. So... Yeah, I went down there and I spent a big box. I bought a quarter of some Pennzoil, uh 10W30, I think it was. I think it's supposed to take 1040, but I didn't, couldn't find 1040. So I put 1030 in, changed the wool, uh, put some fresh fuel on it, and I fired it up and it runs. I heard the tires up and it's running. And you can see there's fresh mud on the, the fenders there. It's dried already. And I had this thing out running. And it's just awesome, you know. Uh, we mothballed the uh, snow... Uh, push snow blower or snow blower snow blade because uh, we don't need it now so we're putting the mower deck back on and you can see i got the deck sitting there underneath of it and i took the snow blade off of it and so we're going to hook that all back up get that more so we're going to have this more going and that more going and that more going so we're going to have two craftsmen and a john deere uh for the you know this upcoming spring and summer grass cutting uh ordeal we're gonna deal with but that's a you know that's not what we're doing today 
you know we're just talking about that but what we're doing is right here guys it's blaster time it's yamaha blaster time yeah so let's see if we can't get this thing cranked back up Hey, let me let me hook you up on uh on the screw on the uh the apparatus here we got there we go let's see if i can <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 